So six of wands in reverse, the high priestess, the six of cups in the reverse, two sixes there. So maybe June, maybe a life path number. The number six in tarot with the lovers is the number of divine, um, you know, very spiritual love. We have um, the seven of cups in reverse. We have the nine of coins. The world in reverse. Mm. Okay, so for some of you, your person, I don't know if they're single or if they are just really focused on something to do with themselves, their work, um, some kind of advancement. It could be health. It could be build, building, building something, if I can get the words out, growing something, maybe working on themselves physically. Um, I have to say, I don't think it's going as well as they had hoped, or it could be that they thought they would see more um, success reflected back at them by now. What they're showing to everybody is that yes, it is going very well, but there is some disappointment here. So we can look into that in a minute. Oh my goodness, we have the sun, nice. Okay, Leo energy there. And we have the eight of wands. Okay, what's on the back? The full Aries energy. So literally leaping towards a new beginning. Let's put the full here. We have justice underneath. So Libra energy, um, possibly something being balanced out karmically. I'm being told that your person's third eye is um, becoming more activated, more awakened. Okay, so there's an interesting thing happening here, and you might recognize this in your connection and within your person at this time. It looks like on the outside or looking from the outside in at your person, they seem to be on the move. There's a lot happening. There's abundance around them of all kinds. They seem to be very happy, but it's a whole other story within. Now, it's not to say that within they're feeling hopeless and it's all it's all terrible, but there's just something different happening. There's there's more of a sense of sense of a, a focus on the spiritual, which might be very new for your person. It might be they may never have thought that, that this would happen to them. Maybe they think anything spiritual or even religious, you know, um, it, it's kind of hogwash. I'm hearing. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's it, it's not that inside things are going badly and they're trying to project an image of success. It's that inside they're just taking a different path to what it looks like on the outside. Um, let's, let's see, let's keep justice here as well. And look, yeah, the page of wands who is walking a new path. Tell me about this nine of pentacles, six of wands in the reverse, please. What are they disappointed about or confused by? Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius there. Yeah, I mean, this can be a card of reciprocity, equal give and take, balance. So they feel they've been giving a lot to something and the success that they expected is not coming through. There's a delay. We've got the hanged man on the back. is this the king of pentacles yep so it could be work career for some of you if you know your person's in a commitment with someone else it could be that they could have been giving a lot and not getting back an equal amount and they're saying i'm showing up as the nine of pentacles so i'm giving you know the best that i've got here and if i'm honest what i'm giving is pretty good and yet this still isn't working out so let's see what their intuition is telling them then the high priestess with the world in reverse could be their intuition is saying you know you know you're giving everything and it's still not it's still not working it's time to change course here it's time to change direction and to, to drop the mask you know stop pretending it's all okay see look five of cups so there is actually a bit of sadness here uh, maybe even a bit of regret feeling like they gave the best of themselves to um, something that's not going anywhere or they have been giving the best of themselves to, to well, anything, a marriage, family, friends, work. Um, and it's, it's not going to pick up. And their intuition is telling them, in actual fact, what they now realise is it's just got to end. They've got to let this go. Now, with the world, there was a reason for this. There's something they have learnt. Um, there could be something karmic as well, with justice coming out, that needed to balance. And... Um, it's almost like your person has to say, okay, fine, fine, I accept it. I accept the lesson. I'm not going to repeat those patterns and I'm going to release this. Okay, so tell me about this Six of Cups with the Sun. 
Hanged Man again. The Chariot in reverse, Cancer Energy. Possibly feeling overwhelmed. And again, though, just feeling like they have a goal in mind or they had a goal. For some of you are hearing <clears throat> for a long time, and they were trying to get there, but it wasn't a straight line. And now they're starting to realize I may never get there. You know, maybe this isn't the role for me. Maybe this isn't the job. Maybe this isn't the husband or the wife for me. You know, um, I'm being drawn back to that nine of coins. So let's go back there. Spirit's telling me there's some stubbornness in letting this go. Oh my goodness. And look who has joined us, the emperor. There definitely is stubbornness. More Aries energy here with the emperor. Um, your person is afraid to let this go because they feel that it's going to reflect negatively on them. You know, that's part of it. The other part of this is that you may be dealing with someone who is very, very responsible here. Um, and they have very set beliefs around how you deal with your responsibilities. So even if they are unhappy, even if they're tr they've tried everything and it's still not working, they're saying, well, I can't just walk away. I can't just let this go. I have to keep trying, even though inside they know the best thing for themselves, possibly for everyone involved, is to say, OK, we've given everything we can. At least I have. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to leave it at that. And we have the Queen of Wands on the back. So this is always, for me the person, the energy who is very desirable, but a little bit out of reach for one reason or another. So what they want is to be with you. They are drawn towards you. They want this new beginning here. Um, and even if you are together, there's something they're holding on to that's maybe keeping you moving a bit slowly or preventing you both from having all of the success and abundance that you could have here. And your person's finally starting to think, okay, well, what if, what if I did let this go? No, not not you. Um, sorry, I, I just felt some people saying, oh my God, are they going to let me go? Um, you know, letting go of, of if it's someone else or a job or a set of beliefs that are holding them back. We have the magician in reverse. Yeah, they're wearing a mask and whatever this is, it's, it's preventing them from really truly um, standing in their power as a magician, you know, being able to manifest whatever it is their heart desires. So they're trying to pretend. There's a real air here of wanting people to believe that they are happy, confident, successful, they can manifest, but um, that's not where they are right now. Hmm. Okay, seven of cups, eight of wands, please. We have Gemini energy with the magician. I can't remember if I said that. Wow, the Empress, Taurus, Libra. But look, we have the Emperor and the Empress here. Seven of coins. Yeah, okay, four of swords. Oh, Leo, strength on the back. You guys have been waiting. So this is the thing. Your person is this king of pentacles with someone else or something else, whoever or whatever that is. But you know, the, the connection they have with you, the emperor and the empress, it's it's way bigger than this. And your connection is in the 3D and it's in the 5D as well. And they understand this. And the thing is, you're both showing up. You're both showing up in the upright. So there is reciprocity there, you know, and if, um, if you're saying we're not speaking, we don't see each other, well, then your person understands that there could be reciprocity here. You know, um, you're both willing to show up, unlike whatever this other thing is that they've been giving most of their attention to. But look, we have the seven of coins and we have the four of swords. So there's a feeling here on both sides that it, it, it's time to make this happen. It's been time for a while now. You know, if you look at this... Um, shrub this bush here you can see some of the leaves are turning they're going brown it you know it's time to harvest the crops it's time to make this happen i feel both of you have been feeling like you're waiting maybe your person has been waiting to see if there's going to be some divine intervention some act of fate that helps to shift things for them you know if they have if they wake up and they suddenly have an epiphany for you you've been waiting to see well are you going to release what needs releasing you know is there going to be this balance between us this forward movement with the eight of wands this can talk about yes it can talk about quick sudden movement it can talk about communication so let's look at this eight of wands specifically oh my goodness you cannot make this up look at this 
communication coming in about this person. I told you, there's this your person, whoever this Queen of, of Pentacles is, your person has been giving, showing up, doing the best they can. This person has been saying, fantastic, I will take the best you've got and I'm gonna, going to feed it into myself. I'm going to nurture myself. Wow. Okay, so your person could be saying, I'm literally moving on from this person or I need to communicate with you about this person or this situation here. Let's go to the Emperor before we move on and um, see if they have anything to say to you. Yes, they do. King of Swords. And it's something direct, um, honest, very clear. It might be surprisingly factual and romantic, um, but it's definitely honest. Nine of Wands in reverse. So if they've been guarded, they want to drop their guard. Four of Cups. They know this is very special and they know it's time to reach out and take the cup. You know, you can't sit and look at it forever and look at this. Exactly. The lovers. More Gemini energy. But your person knows. Look at this. The Emperor, the lovers and the Empress. Are you kidding? Wow. Amazing. So you both know, you both feel it. Um, it's time to get moving as well. Both of you know that. Both of you have been um, sort of waiting, doing what you can by yourselves in the meantime, looking over, checking on each other. Wow. Okay. If you've been um, really focused on yourself, your own life, investing in yourself and, and you know, um, being the best version of you that you can, keep doing that. It's very attractive, you know, for, well, everyone around you, but your person as well. And obviously it's the best thing for you too. But, you know, they are noticing. A personal issue reaches a resolution, full moon in Cancer. So that could be around June, July time, but I, I think it's more about this personal issue reaching resolution. Your, your king of, well, your emperor finally realizing that they're getting nothing back in this king of pentacles position and it's not going to change. This queen of pentacles is more than happy to take and take and nurture themselves and, and to give nothing back. Oh, and look, see, you're very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous moon. Ah, communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So more June um, energy here. So yeah, I mean, this is what we saw in the cards. Your person saying, okay, enough is enough. Something here is very close after a very long time. You know, it's, it's close to moving forward, close to happening. And there's some sort of communication that we, we saw with this eight of wands here. Okay, so let's see. Where is your person's focus right now in the 3D? This is a connection that just cannot be denied on both sides. Um, there's such a strong pull towards one another. Okay. We have dedicated to a hobby. So for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles could represent, um, maybe not a hobby, maybe more than that, but it's, it might not be their work. It might be, um, they feel like it's their vocation, but it's not, you know, it's not the thing that brings in the most money, but they've been giving and giving and giving, and maybe they're not being recognized. They're not making enough progress. Um, you know, that, that kind of thing. Maybe they were passed over for some kind of um, award or, um, um, I can't, I'm hearing, what I'm trying to say is promotion, but I kept hearing proposal um, and proposition. So I don't know if they've been working on something, an idea, maybe trying to start a business and they had to get investors or something and they've been um, rejected. I don't know. Okay, we have insomniac. So this person either has trouble sleeping or right now they have trouble sleeping because um, their mind is going at 100 miles an hour um, and they could be working very late and maybe waking up very early as well. Yeah, we have single. So this person is saying, and they've been trying to tell us from the start, that they either are single or they just, they feel like they're single, they're alone, and they should have been, they, they should be in some sort of partnership or a team. And they're saying, well, why? Why this whole time have I felt alone in this? That's surely telling me something. And it is, it's telling them that um, no one else, you know, no one else is pulling their weight or this other person, this partner, this spouse is is not doing what they should be. And yeah, we have early risers. So I feel like they're um, kind of stressed, doing a lot right now, not getting much sleep. We have lives close by. 
So if they don't, we have, do have this card of travel, of movement. They could be coming to visit you or they could be in town for a while or maybe they literally are moving, relocating to be closer to you. And we have students. So this, your person could be a student. You might be a student. They might be relearning something. Um, they could be learning that they're better off single, if I'm honest. That, you know, they couldn't feel more lonely than they do um with this person who isn't interested or this situation that doesn't appreciate them yeah self-employed for some of you i do feel that they are trying to get something going and um you know they have a goal i'm thinking of that chariot card coming up in reverse and it's just not going to plan right now financially comfortable We have emotional or psychological impairment. So this could be um, this could be more of a permanent thing if you know your person is dealing with something in some way, um, or it could be just right now, especially with the insomnia as well. We have lives at a distance and rents a home. So with these coming out, I feel there's some change in circumstances in terms of your person's home, and maybe something temporary in the meantime. You know, renting, living close by, whereas before maybe they were far away. So, like I said, they might be in town for a while, um, that kind of a thing. So if you if they write to you and they say, oh, I'm coming over for business or whatever, I think what they're trying to say is I'll be around. You know, are you interested in meeting? OK, let's see. So some signifiers, pointers, characteristics about your person. Oh, my goodness. Look, mentally or emotionally unstable. That's pretty much this card here. So they really are going through it right now, feeling stressed, feeling maybe um, unstable emotionally in the sense of I'm making this change. It's pretty scary. I always considered myself who would be uh, maybe responsible in a particular way. I never thought I would break this contract, whatever it is, but now I'm, I'm making that change. So I have to reassess, you know, what are my beliefs? Who am I? Am I doing something that's okay? We have jealous, independent. So this could be someone who maybe when they see you with other people in person or online, or they suspect that you're with other people, even, you know, friends, they might get a bit jealous because they kind of wish that it could be them with you. We have Libra, so Libra energy might be relevant, might, you know, they might have it in their chart. Maybe you do, maybe there's a Libra involved here. We have funny. <laughs> I'm hearing if somebody makes you laugh, or if you've ever said to this person, oh, so-and-so is so funny, they feel a bit jealous about it, they don't like that. Yeah, we have masculine. So this person is saying um, they want to be the only person to make you laugh. They don't want to hear you um you know hear you or hear about you laughing with someone else i think it makes them feel threatened in a way scorpio energy here that's so interesting libra we have libra with justice here um you know and justice can be about the court or law an institution it can be about contracts and we have scorpio energy you know linked to pluto um linked to sort of endings and beginnings something here really is wrapping up and there is a new beginning we have the fall we have aries energy just as i was pointing to the fall and <laughs> we have grumpy okay yeah there's a lot you know what's on the back practical there's a lot going on with this person they might come across as maybe funny um driven with this masculine energy independent but sometimes it's true they're they're um grumpy here a bit jealous but you know we all have different sides and we're not gonna show them all at once and stuff um but i yeah i do feel that this person can get a little bit jealous and grumpy if they think you're um enjoying other people's company you know not necessarily even romantically um and they definitely are going through something right now because of a change that they're making okay so i think i kind of i feel like there's something more i feel oh, i can't speak i feel that um let me pause there's something more i'm not finished yet but i need to figure out what okay advice for you and what to expect so sort of a combination of both so that's where we're going so let me just put a few cards on that and then we'll do the one question one card reading 
Um, and on Monday, I will look into your person's thoughts, feelings, hopes, um, action, you know, that, that kind of thing. We'll do a check-in on Monday. Okay, Spirit, what did you want to say then to my viewers as we're not done? So what should they expect? Um, what's your advice? What are your messages here? I think the Emperor was trying to flip out. Yeah, look. So there's your person. There's your Emperor. We have, oh, the Two of Swords in reverse. Yes, expect your person to finally pay attention to that nagging feeling. You know, the world in reverse. What do they need to let go of? Here's the Emperor again. Oh, this reading is really tight. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. See what I mean? The the sort of dichotomy here. We've got the outside them, the Emperor, the inside them. Nine of Swords, not getting much sleep. Oh, and the Tower, Scorpio energy. Okay, yeah, I mean, Spirit, you've just sort of clarified what we knew, but thanks. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if there's any advice for you then. We have the Knight of Coins in the reverse. So yeah, this is a, a situation that has felt like there's been zero movement for a long time, probably. Four of Cups in reverse, the Moon in reverse, Pisces energy. Oh my goodness. So we had that Four of Cups in the upright um, earlier. So now it's reversed. To me, that's someone actually taking the cup, doing something with it. With the, the moon in reverse, if there's been no communication, that could be coming in. But if there's been something that's been hidden, something mysterious, we saw your person coming up with that um, king of swords earlier as well. So that could be something they're going to tell you about. We've got the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy here. So yes, spirit's saying... Um, what the thing that has felt impossible to budge and move and completely stuck and um bound that is that's being um i'm seeing two hands tied together and the, the rope's coming loose so that is that is changing it's coming undone oh sorry the cards just flew up and hit the mic we have the three of coins in reverse the nine of coins and the four of coins ace of wands so some of you you know when this comes back around um you might feel like you're in a bit of a self-protective place um because you're doing well on your own here you know the nine of coins so you might be reluctant you might be saying well if i open up and try and work with you with the three of coins there might be disappointment so you might be a bit protective and i think spirit's saying that's okay um your person coming forward is the emperor the king of swords um if you feel this way, you can explain that to them. And I think then they're not going to run, even if they have done in the past. This is a very mature energy. And this is someone who is, is logical, rational. They'll understand where you're coming from. And they're not going to run from giving you answers um, and having a conversation here. So a bit of self-protection is fine. Okay, I think we're getting to the end judgment in reverse the empress in reverse yeah so this is just clarifying to me you might not be sure even if they come forward as the emperor you might be saying i don't know if i'm going to step forward as your empress um i need time to think i need to hear what you've got to say i need to see how things will be different how things will actually move forward this time okay yeah i mean and that's absolutely fine I feel there's a, a determined energy coming from your person, so that's not going to freak them out. And you know, if it does, well, I think then they've still got some growing to do, um, but I don't think it will. Okay, so I will do the one question, one card. If you are heading off, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you again on Monday. If you're sticking around, I will grab a deck and we'll move on. Okay, so today's winner is K.O. who says, will he finally step up before August so we can have a good relationship? Okay, Spirit, what message do you have for K.O., please? Will that person finally step up, step forward before August so that they can have a good relationship? Spirit's telling me um, to find good. <laughs> I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think that, that we need to, you know, go into that for this, but that could be a message around manifesting, you know, being really specific. To me, good looks like this, this, and this, you know, so really get clear with your manifestations. We have the world upright, oh my goodness, and the tower. So this is good because it's telling me that whatever you've been through that hasn't felt good to you is over and lessons have been learned. We have Scorpio energy here. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify this, please. The Star, healing. 
um, also Aquarius energy, judgment in the reverse, eight of wands in the reverse, with the ten of coins on the back, and look what just popped out, the emperor and the chariot, so Aries and Cancer energy. Did I tell you ten of coins? I think I did. Um, okay, so KO, you've this is you've been through something huge here you probably realize it you know with the world and the tower that's not energy you can miss and i feel that between now and august we're kind of looking at, at healing coming in something completely ending a period of pause of rest of recovery healing i'm not sure your person's coming forward before august but if there's been any holding back any feeling of being closed off a lack of success i feel that's melting away um there is huge potential here with the emperor the chariot the ten of coins um i'm not sure it's coming in before august i think if i'm honest between now and then it's going to look very quiet but there's a lot going on that's unseen with the star let me see if there's anything else we yeah see seven of coins in the reverse things are moving i just i'm i what i feel though is it won't look like that to you and then we have the four of cups in reverse and i was just talking about that earlier it's time to take the cup when it's reversed it's very much like the ace of cups to me but there has been a history there's been a past and we have the knight of swords so you know what i'm feeling here I'm seeing it's quiet. There's not much happening on the surface. There's a lot going on energetically, maybe personally for both of you as well in terms of healing and releasing. And then suddenly things move forward very quickly with, you know, possible communication here as well. Um, so I, I have to say maybe not by August, but there is something very, very significant happening. So hopefully that is at least... Um, a positive thing, you know, to know that old cycles have ended and will not be repeated. We have so many major arcana here. I feel that the divine is, is up to something um, and kind of asking you to, you know, go with the flow a bit and to take your hands off the wheel for now. Okay, so I will leave it here. Thank you everyone so much for watching, for your questions. Um, if you want to leave a question for Monday, please just do in the comments. Um, and yeah, have a nice weekend and I will see you then. Bye.